Hey guys, Jordan Nelson here, host of Real Estate Pros on Lister Pros TV. Today we have via Zoom, Rebecca Hidalgo Reigns of Berkshire Hathaway Home Services, Integrity All-Stars. Thank you so much for taking time out of your busy day, Rebecca, and joining me on Real Estate Pros. I am delighted to be here. In fact, uh, the timing couldn't be more perfect because honestly, Jordan, we got to talk about what's going on in the market today. Right. I've been tracking the Dow over the last few days. It's gone crazy. And I'm curious, you know, what's going on out in the real estate. So anyways, I wanted to get you on and get your take on what's going on in the real estate market in general and, and what we can expect. Well, you know, I feel like in, I, I say this tagline all the time because I'm getting so ancient. I've been doing real estate. This May will be 27 years. As a result, I've been saying experience matters. My client's experience matters a lot to me, but my experience definitely, I think when things get scary, I can look back to, I hate to say it, but 2001, when you know the Twin Towers were hit, yeah, that was a scary time in our industry. Uh, when Because when people get scared, then they freeze. And I feel like we're getting a little bit of that right now. Uh, Y2K, oh my gosh, everybody thought the world was caving in. I'm pretty sure there was the run on toilet paper at the grocery store back then 20 years ago too. Uh, I actually sold a house on January 1st, 2000 on the day after. And, you know, I still drove to work and people were still, you know, going to work that day. I think what's different about us right now, and I just came off of being in convention in Nashville, just flew home two days ago. So I was traveling and there were thousands of realtors still at convention this past week, although it seems like everything is getting canceled. Uh, you wake up this morning, I'm sure you heard all kinds of, you know, big sporting events, anything that's getting a lot of people together, they're, you know, holding off on or rescheduling. I think there's a fine line, a very fine line of being respectful and responsible with what's going on out there and going to the other direction of where you allow fear to freeze you and keep you from doing the things that we would normally be doing, right? right? And I have been fielding a lot of phone calls, having lots of conversations since I've been home the last couple of days from clients, maybe with some concerns, uh, from lenders, you know, telling me they're busier than they've ever been. And we are still having a shortage of houses. You know, this is like our hot season right now. I'm sure you've heard about it, Jordan. You right, guys take yeah. all of our pictures for us. <laughs> Yeah, so definitely there's a lot going on out, out there. And uh, so what, you know, from your perspective, obviously I, I think a lot of people will have their opinions on how serious it is, how serious is it going to get? Should we, you know, is, yeah, I, I mean, like you said, there, it, it, there's a lot of noise right now because a lot of NBA season getting canceled, March Madness. Um, it, it sounds like they're they're doing a lot of appropriate actions for large gatherings, right, to 100 to 500 more I, I think just trying to be responsible you know there's we're, we live in such a litigious world right now that every big corporation has to put out their disclaimers about how you know they're being more sanitary if you don't have to come to the workplace don't come to the workplace you know hunker down at home but at the same time you know i feel like there might be a little bit more fear out there than there should be with respect to you know yeah, the stock markets took a hit because there's not confidence because people are wanting to have their cash liquid right now. Last week, we saw mortgage rates go to unsightly numbers, you know, of down, down in the super low threes. And now they've come back up. As a result, they're still in the threes, guys. You know, the rates are still phenomenal. We still are having a shortage of houses. You know, if, in fact, you know, I was talking to one of our lender partners yesterday and he's like, you know, there's a lot of opportunities amongst, amongst the chaos. And so if you're not letting fear keep you on the sidelines or keep you sitting on the fence watching others, you know, there is a lot of people who were bid out of houses in the last month that were in the middle of bidding wars. And you know what? This weekend might be a great time to go shopping for a house because those people that are sitting on the sidelines, you know, the law of supply and demand. And while the supply is still so low, if demand temporarily drops, just like the rates temporarily dropped last week, you may not be in the same bidding war and you might be able to scoop up some great homes without having to fight a whole bunch of other people to get them. 
Yeah, and I saw rates dropped for like a 15 year fix this morning at like 2.8 something. So it's insanely low. So I, like you said, I think it, it is an opportunity for a lot of people. Obviously, a lot of re- people refinancing, redu- reducing their monthly burden on their mortgage. But talk to us a little bit about that opportunity and what it creates uh, with the low rates and affordability. Well, and that's just it is, you know, homes have not. I'm going to include with this video, when you send me the link later, I'm going to be posting a whole bunch of articles talking about why Arizona is number one in the country, leading the pack for demand and where the rents have driven up and all kinds of really great economic reasons of why to you know live here and buy a house here. And I don't think that this little pandemic that we are dealing with this past week, I mean, unless it goes on for months and months and months, is really going to make any huge long-term impact. The reality is is we all still need houses, you know, especially maybe even more so now because, you know, they're keeping us home right now, right? Uh, But the reality is, is I've had a lot of buyers get really frustrated with how hard it's been to get the good houses. And if you are not in the travel industry and you don't rely on conventions, for example, for your, for your living, and you have a regular job where you know, maybe you can just work from home this next two weeks while they're trying to kind of keep everybody out of the big social gatherings, you might be able to get a great house for a great price without fighting a bunch of other people to get it. Like we were just out shopping with clients last night. I had a call from a client yesterday who was very worried that his buyer would cancel. And I don't know. I mean, personally, I feel like as long as we stay optimistic, And we stay smart about maybe our whereabouts and our hygiene and, you know, it's not so much the virus to be afraid of, it's people's reaction to this, what's going on out there. I mean, we can't control what happens out there. We can only control what's going on in our own world, right? Isn't life 10% what happens to us and 90% how we react to it. So if we let this fear kind of get in, it may make us not make sound business decisions today. You know, I, I remember in the last downturn, we made a lot of investors a lot of money because while everybody was scared and having issues financially, I say everyone, there was a good percentage of people that made a whole bunch of wealth during that opportunity. And I kind of see today's chaos as another opportunity for those people who won't keep fear in their hearts and paralyzing them. Like, I'm definitely a positive you know, half glass full kind of gal anyways, but even more so today, I think the message I want to put out there is we live in a great place. Demand is huge. People are been scouring, looking for homes, beating the pavement, especially affordable housing. And if you, you know, stop getting caught up in the media and watching, you know, 24 seven, the news, you know, the news is kind of scary if you just sit there and watch it for hours and hours on end. I'm not saying that we shouldn't know what's going on out there, but I'm saying, you know, don't let it keep you indoors forever and locked in and afraid of, you know, your shadow. Because we did see Y2K, which was really turned out to be nothing. Uh, I, I actually thought that when we had the Twin Towers get hit in 2001, we, I did have a couple people cancel that day that were supposed to write contracts. And within a couple of weeks, you know, it was kind of business back to normal. And of course, my hope is that that's going to be the same here, that this is just a temporary setback that we're experiencing. And those that, again, don't let the fear keep them from making sound business decisions might get some really good deals over the next week or two. Like last week, people who got to lock in when they were seeing rates hit three or even a hair underneath or a hair right above. I mean, just this morning, I checked in conventional mortgages are still, if you go online, you should still be able to find them for three and five eighths. I mean, they're, they're still record lows, which makes homes affordable. And, you know, take advantage of that, you guys, you know, don't let the fear keep you at home or keep you from doing things that, again, bidding wars have been nonstop the last month and a half. So, you know, this could be the great weekend, you know, this it's might be the opportunity, weekend, right? a lot of celebration. <laughs> to not be in such a bidding war. We'll see, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, today's Friday the 13th, you know, again, I think this is kind of like my whole message is, you know, don't be afraid and, uh, you know, you guys ought to keep shopping because there could be some really good deals out there that 
you know, maybe half the population is staying at home and wants to watch the news and wait and see what happens. And those that aren't waiting, you know, can scoop up some great houses right now. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Rebecca, for uh, joining me this morning and, and chatting about what's going on in the world today. Uh, I'm sure there's going to be more things going are on. You, are you Italian? Am I? <laughs> Um, I said, are you Italian? I don't know. I might. I think I'm partially. I'm mostly Danish, and I'm in the. I'm in the region. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I <laughs> like gotcha. this. Is this the... <laughs> awesome. You're you're cracking me up. Hey, you know what? I you know everybody to stay positive out there. Stay clean. Stay you know have fun, and uh, let's all you know stay up optimistic because I think that's probably the biggest thing right now is just. Don't let, don't let it get to you and don't pay attention to Friday the 13th. There's nothing to be afraid of. There's no boogeyman out there to get us today. No boogeyman. Just avoid Costco right now, right? <laughs> oh yeah. You may just want to stay out of those lines, right? And use your hand sanitizer. Have a great day. Thank you for having me on. Yep. Thanks yep. for joining me. Thanks for joining me.